this video is going to go over the exercise on Khan Academy with the title Rotate 2D Shapes in 3D. And this exercise was assigned to you on week 5 of distance learning. Let's look at the first question. We are considering this figure below. What solid 3D object is produced by rotating the triangle about line M? So the way I'm going to think about this is that this triangle is just spinning around um, line M. So imagine that it keeps going around and around and around. The first thing I'm going to think about is whether or not it's going to form a cylinder or a cone. Well, what I see is that this triangle has a pointed tip. So if this triangle keeps spinning around and around and around, there's no way it's going to be a cylinder. So I'm only going to be focused then on option C and D because for sure, if this triangle keeps spinning, it's going to be forming a cone. The next thing I'm going to think about is whether or not the radius is eight units or the radius is six units. Well, if this triangle keep, keeps spinning around and makes a cone, I am going to form a circle on the base of the shape. What I am being given is that the distance between the center of that circle and the edge of that circle is going to be eight. And the six actually is talking about the height, which is not the radius. So I am going to pick letter C. Considering this figure, what 3D object is produced by rotating the rectangle, rectangle about line M? So one thing I notice here that's different is that the shape is actually separate from the dotted line. So if the shape is rotating around the dotted line, it actually is going to form a hole in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my options and true enough, all of my options have holes in the middles because the line where it's rotating about is not touching the shape. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the shape itself. Well, this one, letter A, will require my shape to have started kind of like having a round edge, which this doesn't have. So I don't think it's going to be letter A. Looking at letter B, it does seem like it has a flatter edge which my shape has. It has a flat outer side. So B is definitely a contender. I'm going to check C just in case. Now C is um, a shape also that has a hole in the middle but has a slight tilt on the edge, which looking at my shape, it does not have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select B because I think that the flat side of this tube is being made from the flat side of this rectangle right here, the length. All right, now we're going to consider this figure. What solid 3D object is produced by rotating the rectangle about line M? This is kind of like the first question we talked about. So imagine this um, rectangle spinning around line M. Um, I think that it is going to be forming a cylinder because the, uh, um, the sides are flat and there's no pointed edge, so it's not going to be a cone. Now the thing we're going to have to think about now is whether it has a diameter of 3 units or it will have a diameter of 4 units. Well, if this is spinning around, these sides are the sides that are going to be forming a circle. So that means that the radius will remain to be at 2. But since we're talking about diameter, it's going to be both of these added together. 2 plus 2 is 4. So that's what I'm going to pick because 3 is actually going to be representing the height of the cylinder. And lastly, considering this figure, what solid 3D object is produced by rotating the quarter circle about line M? So again, imagining that this semi, uh, sorry, quarter circle is going to keep 
going around and around and around? Well, it's going to for sure not form a sphere because it is not complete. There will never be anything on top here. So it'll be a hemisphere, which is half of a sphere. So I'm now just looking at whether or not 10 units is going to be the radius or the diameter. Well, if this is quarter of a circle and the radius is 5, that means the diameter is going to be double of that, which is 10. So the radius is not 5. Oh, sorry. The, the diameter is not 5, but the radius is 5. So diameter is double that, which is going to be 10 units.